holy crap. Um, I'm out by a bunch of uh, tree here that's been all cut up. I can't even think straight. Well guys, here's our uh, our first target for uh, for May. Um, this ring up is a solid 32 on the Xterra. Uh, kind of thought I was digging a penny the way it came in so rock solid, but uh, just a little toy. Anyway, that's how we're starting off May. See you later. Well guys, I was uh, getting a solid 10 here on the Xterra, and uh, looks like we got our first ring for May. Let's pull it out of there and uh, see what we got. Yeah, definitely a ring. I think it's going to be a children's ring, but uh, let me check it out real close because that was a that was a pretty good reading there, a solid ten. Um, be right back with you. Well, there she is, guys. Uh, even out of the hole, it's still reading a solid ten. Um, there's no markings in it and uh, the stones on it are kind of fogged up so I'm pretty sure it's just a, a junk ring and uh, we'll be adding it to the costume jewelry collection but uh, that's number one for me so uh, hope you all having a good day kind of sprinkling uh, where I'm at here today see you later I think we got a silver dime. Um, let me pull it out of there and take a look. Yeah, it's looking like a rosy. Let me get a little water on it and I'll uh, show you what year I got here. Be right back with you. Well, there you go, guys. Another close one. Um, last two pieces of uh, silver coins I've taken up uh, have been 1964. But uh, that counts as silver, so anyway, yahoo! Uh, good way to start off May. See y'all later. Guys, I was getting the, uh, an iffy 42 here on the Xterra, and uh, I'm not quite sure what this is. Uh, maybe costume jewelry, maybe something good, but let's see what we got. It sure is heavy. Um, I think it's part of a watch, but uh, let me check it out and uh, I'll uh, show you what I got. Be right back. Well, guys, I got another uh, another watch or piece of a watch. Um, I'm not even six inches from that uh, the last one, so uh, I'll keep checking here and uh, see if maybe uh, somebody uh, went sorting through some jewelry or something here where I'm at. Um, hope you're having a good day. See you later. Well, guys, looks like uh, we got ourselves a ring, and uh, let's see what we got here. The top has been smashed over on it. And, uh, but uh, I'm going to clean it up a little bit and uh, see if we have any markings, and I'll give you another shot. Be right back. Well, guys, there it is. Um, it does have some uh, uh, some writing inside the band, and uh, I'm gonna wait till I get it home and uh, clean it up a little more delicately and uh, see what we got. Uh, but anyway, this was reading a uh, solid 28 on the Xterra. See you in a bit. Well, guys, I had a quite a screamer here. Uh, it was uh, hitting 44, 46 and going into overload and uh, kind of showing you the hole there and uh, showing you my digger so you get an idea of the size and uh, here's what came out of that hole. A mag light flashlight. I think it's been down there a while. Still got batteries on it. Anyway, uh, that's the screamer, guys. See you later.
Well, there's our uh, first Chuck E. Cheese token for May. Um, anyway, I collect these, so uh, I'll see y'all later. Well, I was getting a uh, solid 16 on the Xterra, and uh, I was expecting a, a pull tab uh, running in all metal mode, but uh, got something down in here gold colored. I think it's going to be bling, but uh, let's see what we got. Oh, that's nice. Wow. Um, I think it's just junk jewelry, but uh, let me check it out for a minute, see if there's any markings on it, and I'll be right back to you. Well, there she is, guys. Uh, it's kind of pretty, but uh, I think it's uh, plated. Uh, there were no markings on it. I didn't see any rust or corrosion, but uh, just the way that uh, the surface is on there, it kind of looks to me like it's plated. Uh, like I said, I was getting a solid 18 on this, though, so anyway. Uh, hope you're having a good May, and uh, I'll see you on the next hole. Well, we got a little surface find. Uh, the metal detector it did help me find it on the surface. Uh, looks like another uh, Chuck E. Cheese token. Yep, sure is. This one is uh, 2003. So anyway, uh, see y'all later. Hey guys, uh, I was getting a 42, and uh, I think I got a ring down here. Let's uh, let's see. It's pretty close to the surface. See the word happy on top of it. Be healthy. Be happy. So let's push the cloud out of this and see what we actually got here. Well, let me clean it up a little bit, and uh, I'll be right back to you and show you what I got. Well, there it is, guys. Uh, it's plated. Uh, there's no marking on the inside. You can see the plating coming off. But uh, I like the idea. Be healthy. Be happy. So uh, let's all be happy. See you later. Okay, guys. Uh, no Hot Wheels this month yet. Uh, everything I've been digging up as far as uh, little toys like that have two wheels. So... Um, here's another motorcycle. Oh boy, look at the uh, back fender on that guy. Well, when I get her cleaned up, uh, I'll give you a better shot. I'll do a little inlay or something here on the video. Um, wow, I rode choppers for years. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I had my first one in the 60s. So, see y'all later. Well guys, uh, right there in the shade is a uh, little basket for um, Frisbee golf. I'm out on a nine hole Frisbee golf course today. and. Uh, Kind of nice. I, I like all these uh, these old trees here. This is an older park. Uh, I did find it on some uh, some satellite images back from the 50s. So uh, let's keep our fingers crossed. See y'all later. Well, guys, we're on uh, hole eight. Uh, here, let me give you an idea. It's a frisbee golf course, and way off in the distance out there. You can see a little basket under the tree. Um, that's the goal. It's a three-par course. I mean, a three-par hole. Um, anyway, uh, I'll be walking down through here and seeing if anybody threw any rings or bracelets off uh, while they were launching their frisbees. So, see y'all in a bit. I said uh, it is a U.S. half dollar, 
and uh, I can't get the date off it. I'm pretty sure it's just a uh, um, a modern uh, clad half dollar, but uh, I'll clean it up a little better when I get home and uh, see if I can actually read that date that's on there. So anyway, um, hope you're having a good day, and I'll see you all later. Uh, we got us a, uh, a Molarola Sprint phone. Uh, this was a uh, solid uh, 26. Uh, uh, if it hadn't been solid, I wouldn't have dug it. But uh, anyway, uh, there's a 26 on the old Xterra. See you later. Oh, <laughs> hey guys. Um, holy crap. Um, I'm out by a bunch of... Uh, tree here that's been all cut up. I can't even think straight. Uh, I'll just get to the point. Uh, look what my metal detector helped me find on top of the ground. Looks like uh, two gold rings hanging on a broken a broken uh, shit. like I said I can't even think. A broken clip. Um, I'm going to slip these in my pouch real quick. Uh, there's a few people around and uh, I kind of don't want to advertise this. So uh, when I get these home, uh, if I make it home, yeah, I'll, I'll give you another shot. Be right back. Yahoo, Yahoo, Yahoo. Uh, holy cow, guys. Um, got a little second here to give you another shot of these. Uh, they both do have markings on them and uh, I did find them right on this layered here. Um, Anyway, I hope the stones are real. Uh, they both have uh, carrot markings on the inside as far as the uh, quality of the gold. So, yeah! Hoo. Anyway, uh, I'll have more for you in a minute. Hope you're having a good day. Uh, I think I just made six months here. So, uh, anyway, talk to you later. the outhouse there for us old timers. <laughs> See you later.